control for Arlington. I told a few stories this past week about Jean, and my coworker Susan Sherman said I needed to share it with you. I'm nervous about speaking in public, so if you don't mind, I'm going to pretend like Jean's up here with me and encouraging me. Um, if you want to hear stories about her, you know, with cuddly kittens, these aren't the stories. So <laughs> stop listening now. When I started 12 years ago, it was during West Nile. We had crows dying left and right in Arlington, and part of our job is to pick up the dead animals. We just couldn't keep up. So Jean had this fabulous idea. She's going to come in one Sunday and pick up all these crows. It had never been done, but, you know, and that's the thing about Jean. She wasn't above anything. So she shows up. She's got purple shoes, black shorts, and somehow she had gotten one of my animal control shirts and a weaved hat, huge hat. So we put her in one of those little Chevy S10 trucks with no air conditioning in July. She goes on her way. She calls from her cell phone two hours later. She's up at Potomac Overlook. She's found a Great Dane running loose. So I said, well, give me 10 minutes. I'll be there. She's like, I got it. Don't worry. So she puts the Great Dane. And she had to fold him up to put it in the S10 truck. And her, up in the front. She's coming out of Potomac Overlook. The owner stops the animal control truck. She's looking for a dog. It's a friend of Jean's. But that shouldn't surprise anyone. Because